All right, folks, so I uh, got all packed up. It is Thursday night uh, or Thursday afternoon, and I am headed up. I'm gonna meet Bob up there, and um, we're gonna have a great time. So um, hopefully I'll get some good footage and put together a successful hunting video. Um, friends and family made it up to the Ochacos. I absolutely love this area. Um, decided to stop by the first spot I ever camped with Jeff uh, in the Ochacos. <clears throat> and I absolutely love this spot. Um, you can kind of see the background here. Um, one time Logan slept right, uh, right over there. Um, he set up the camp right there. I set up my camp right there. Um, we were bear hunting. And then you can see those two trees right there. That's when uh, Jeff decided to start camping and sleeping in a hammock. And uh, crazy as it sounds, he actually talked me into start doing that. So I love it actually. I, I love doing it as well. So, All right, so I'm on my way up and then Look who I run across, Mr. Bob. <laughs> and he says he's found the perfect hunting spot. So uh, it's gonna be a good weekend. Got to camp and uh, Bob's giving me the tour. Um, he's set up and look at this. He, we got a stove, we got all this wood. He's already like dropped a tree. We got the cooking station. It's like a, it's like a hotel. I told yeah, we're you. We're just scouting and we found a grouse. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, everybody, so we just got back to camp and you can see uh, Bob's got his kitchen station there. <laughs> Go all the way around here. I got my little setup there. There's my bed. Yes, I did bring two pillows. And then Bob's bed. I think it's queen size, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna eat some dinner and then tomorrow is gonna be all about scouting and uh, Maybe, maybe another grouse or two. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. We'll see. You gotta get enough to have a dinner. Yes. So, anyway, we're just having fun. We're gonna sign out for the night. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, folks. Friday morning. It was a great night last night. The sun's coming out. And we're just gonna go scouting today. Having fun. Bob's driving us side by side. Bob just found a friend here. <laughs> oh, there's his girlfriend oh. on the other oh. side. <laughs> and his girlfriend. So it looks like we got some cattle grazing in here. So um, had to sneak away real quick while Bob is cutting some firewood because I had to show you guys these mushrooms on the tree. They go all the way up, if you can see. It's kind of cool. Anyway, I had to sneak away because Bob will get mad at me if I'm talking about mushrooms on a hunting trip. <laughs> Folks, so we're just chilling at camp at the firewood, and I found these two trees here. I think it's a perfect spot for the hammock, so let's get it set up. All right, folks, 
just got to this peak and I just gotta show you. Look at this. It's just absolutely beautiful. I'm on top of this rock. This cool tree. It's like a little bonsai tree or something. Almost looks like. Anyway, just sharing the scenic view that I have. Bob's somewhere over there checking things out. Um, but uh, we ran into the um, does again on the other side, so we kind of are figuring out their pattern. Uh, hopefully, there's a buck uh, in the area as well. So, all right, good morning, everybody. Fast forward, it is Saturday morning, alarm just went off super early. We're gonna get ready to go and uh, have a good hunting trip. So, time to get ready. All right, we're just getting a little breakfast for our, our hunting day number one. Got some potatoes, spam, eggs, nothing better than that. All right, I know it's dark. You probably can't see this, but we had to show you this awesome uh, <laughs> sunrise behind us. We're just uh, just getting started. So I'm gonna stop filming for a while and focus actually on hunting. <laughs> um, but uh, hopefully my next shot will be uh, uh, with a buck down. So see you in a little bit. All right, everybody. So Bob and I just split up. He's going down low, I'm going up high. So wish us luck, opening day, having fun. So I'm up on the ridge, I bumped two big bucks. Pretty thick timber up here. I didn't even see him. Ran into him about 20 yards. They ran downhill. So I'm circling back around the, the top of the ridge and then uh, trying to get in front of him. We'll see. All right, folks, so a little update. I did not find those two bucks again, um, but uh, we're circling around. We split up again, going up these two valleys. Um, something cool though, ran into a herd of elk and uh, only got a little, little video of them, but uh, heard a bull calling and I thought it was fake actually. <laughs> and I thought there was a hunter. So I climbed up to see if the, there was a hunter on a peak and then sure enough, the elk herd came down. So that was kind of cool. Anyway, um, just taking my time. It's an absolute beautiful day. And uh, hopefully um, we'll see some more bucks and maybe I'll get a shot off. Um, pretty, pretty highly populated here with people, a lot of hunters. Um, I've heard probably five shots, so I'm probably chasing all the bucks to them. So you're welcome to all those other hunters. See you in a little bit. All right, everybody, so just for the record, I hiked a gajillion miles and circled this huge butte to get back to camp. And lo and behold, there was a buck by camp. <laughs> so now, Bob spotted it. I think I spooked it walking up to camp. And then Bob spotted it. So now he's going around and I'm kind of holding position. So we'll see. That would be kind of funny if I shot 
a buck right by camp after hiking all the, the entire day. All right, folks, so we just made it back to camp. Day one is concluding. Um, super tired, we hiked a lot, of diff a lot of miles, a lot of different trails, saw a bunch of deer. Um, did not see any um, bucks that we could, or that, well, we did see a buck, but uh, did not uh, get a shot at it. Um, and then our neighbors up the road actually said they saw a huge buck. Um, I think the word was monster, uh, right <laughs> by our camp. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> so we're thinking it might be that uh, buck that we saw earlier by the camp uh, that I referenced to. So anyway, um, did you have a good time? Oh, it's a blast. <laughs> it's a blast. We just need, need to have meat on the tree. Yes. All right. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow unless uh, something comes to our camp tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll start well, filming well. again, but <laughs> otherwise I'll see you tomorrow. All right, everybody, it is day two, Sunday. It's going to be a good day. We'll see you out there. All right, everybody, so mid-morning, day two. Been out here since dark. Couple, a couple hours now, and um, no sign of anything. Uh, this is where they've been crossing the last uh, couple, two days that we've seen. They've been crossing over this area, so we're hoping to uh, catch them crossing. But still, plenty of morning, plenty of day, so I'll keep you posted. <laughs> morning um, and there's a lot of hunters out so we are back at camp and just kind of chilling out right now resting getting ready for an afternoon hunt and we're going to kind of decide what we want to do for the afternoon um, maybe switch areas a little bit because there's so many hunters over here um, but uh, who knows while we're resting at camp that that big monster buck might come by who knows <laughs> Anyway, we'll see you in a little while. All right, so we're, or I'm hiking back, meeting Bob, finishing up an afternoon hunt. Went down this awesome, awesome path. All kinds of sign, all kinds of stuff. I found a couple of watering holes. Might want to go back. Um, I kind of bumped a doe down the hill towards Bob. And then uh, he said he saw a huge bull elk. So I think I bumped them down. And then um, when I came looping around, I hit the bull elk and it ran through the bushes. So um, we're not elk hunting though, but it's still cool. <laughs> So, all right, we'll keep you posted. Hopefully, uh, by the end of the day, we'll have a deer hanging in the camp. All right, everybody. So, <clears throat> Bob went to go call some elk and just have some fun. I decided to go a little road hunting, and I went over to my old area where I used to mushroom hunt and so forth. 
and I found like a whole new area that where they're they're like cutting and clearing and next year it's gonna be like the best morel spot I, I guarantee it anyway this is a secret video because if Bob ever found out that I was scouting for mushroom spots he would kill me we're supposed to be hunting so let's get back to hunting <laughs> camp that uh, Jeff and I parked at when we first came up here and uh, we we're hunting bear spring bear a couple years ago uh, bear creek actually runs uh, down the side there but uh, this is kind of a cool cool area that I always remember hanging out with Jeff because we we pulled up here and there's morels literally all around camp <laughs> and we started picking them and uh, having a great time and then we uh, hiked up the trail up here and um, uh, actually saw a bear story so this area right behind me is a, a place that Jeff showed me where morels were uh, a little further down is where Jeff and I found morel mushrooms for the first time together I showed him what it was and he he saw it and we came up and uh, Jen and Kelly came up and we all picked. It was really awesome. It was actually one of the first YouTube videos I ever did. Anyway, uh, years later, he actually came up here by himself and found a spot higher elevation and gave me the tip. I came up and uh, Jen and I like totally killed it, got a bunch of mushrooms. So anyway, this is the spot here. So anyway, love you, Jeff. So this is probably turning more into a video diary than a hunting trip, <laughs> but uh, it's a beautiful day. Bob and I are splitting up again. Um, he's going around the butte. I'm starting kind of by camp and going uh, on the trail that I went yesterday by that watering hole. It's a beautiful morning um, and I'm just going to enjoy the day in God's creation. And, Hopefully I'll come across a buck. Let's do it. Folks, it's afternoon now. Been hiking all day. I actually hit some deer um, or, or bumped them a little bit and then uh, circled around, saw them again. Turned out to just be some does, no bucks. Um, my radio died, so I have no way to communicate with Bob, but luckily, uh, We've learned this area pretty well, so I think I'm gonna stop for lunch, and who knows, uh, maybe a buck will just walk right by. We'll see. All right, folks, there's lunch of champions here. Some beef sticks, granola bar, orange water, and some nuts. This is what you do when you're sitting 
in the middle of a field, <laughs> waiting for deer to go. Everybody, by. so Bob, <laughs> the one who told me not to look for mushrooms, finds this guy uh, hanging on a tree. I'm almost positive that's a giant lion's mane, but we're gonna ID it and check. But uh, pretty good stuff. <laughs> It's a late afternoon hunt, almost done, but I wanted to show you this, but I promise it was not mushroom hunting, but it's all fair because Bob found mushrooms, so I had to show him giant puffball. Look at that thing. Look how big it is. It's super old. I'll show you why they call them puffballs. They, when they get old, they have a shell and it's kind of like a puff. So anyway, cool spot. Maybe there'll be uh, little ones uh, next year in the spring. So Bob just spotted a, a little group of does and uh, we stopped. I filmed a little bit of it. Um, we're gonna go down the road. There's still some shooting light. And then uh, Bob just found some, some buck tracks going that way. So we'll that's see. fresh because- Yeah, that's really fresh. Yeah, the road, they're, they're, yeah. They're probably with these does. my hair all right everybody so we are back at camp we had a fantastic day saw all kinds of animals um did a little afternoon night hunt on the way back we saw a bunch of or on the way there we saw a bunch of does um saw some buck tracks so had a good day super productive um we're gonna get some food and head to bed and we'll see you tomorrow all right day number four early morning we're gonna make it happen today. Gotta do it. All right, everybody. So a little update. Last day of hunting. This morning, we ran into a ton of deer, all does. Pretty, pretty fun those, at least a dozen. Um, got some in the crosshairs, looking to make sure they, or check if they had the antlers or not. And of course they didn't, so nothing's on the ground yet, but um, hiking this ridge here. And uh, this is kind of where the deer keep crossing over. A lot of does, just no bucks, so. We'll see how the afternoon goes. All right, everybody. So just to catch you up, it is the afternoon now. And um, I ended up meeting up with Bob. He met me on the trail, which was totally cool. Um, <clears throat> so I didn't have to walk all the way back to camp. And then as we uh, almost got back to the side-by-side, -side, we spotted what we think is buck in, uh, in some brush. So we kind of circled and tried to hunt that for a little while. Um, wasn't successful on that. So we went back to camp. I jumped in the truck because a couple miles away yesterday, I think I left my sweatshirt under this tree where I ate lunch. And uh, sure enough, it was still there. So got found my sweatshirt. So good stuff. Uh, one more night hunt and uh, or late afternoon hunt. Can't hunt at night. But uh, hopefully we'll be successful right at the end. All right, everybody. So we're getting down to the last uh, probably hour of hunting. Haven't seen anything uh, 
all afternoon, all tonight, but check out these views. Oh my gosh. It's awesome to be out here. It's good stuff. What do you think, Bobo? <laughs> We're up on this hillside. Just awesome area, glass and turn back this way. All right, everybody, day four is over. Didn't see too much tonight, but uh, we got to head back tomorrow and pack up camp. But we're going to try to squeeze in a little, little tiny morning hunt. Um, and we'll get lucky at the last minute. Hopefully. So, Hopefully. see you tomorrow. All right, so day five. We are going to pack up uh, later today, but we're going to do one last morning hunt, and hopefully we uh, we uh, drop a buck. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Right, everybody so last morning Bob just dropped me off I'm gonna sit over here for a couple hours while the Sun comes up and uh, Bob's going down the hill and uh, hopefully we'll get something stay tuned all right folks <clears throat> I know it's dark but I was trying to capture the the bull elk it's right over the hill it keeps bugling I'm not elk hunting I'm deer hunting, but there's just tons of elk around. It's been pretty fun. Anyway, I don't know if you can hear that. The video's probably not picking it up, but anyway, cool stuff. More to come. All right, folks, here is the hillside I've been watching all morning. Pretty good line of sight. This is a crossing area. Nothing has come by this way. Well, no deer this morning. Saw some elk. Um, Bob actually saw some deer, uh, but they're all does. So packing up camp and uh, calling it a, a good hunting trip. Even though we weren't uh, successful taking down a buck, we saw a lot of animals. We had a lot of great time uh, in nature, having fun. So um, time to break down camp. All right, folks, just to end the video, we just packed up camp. Uh, Bob's pulling out. Um, I can't thank you enough, Bob, for an incredible, incredible weekend, um, a long weekend. I saw more animals this hunting trip than I ever have in any other trip. And uh, it was awesome to hear elk um, all day. We ran into that bull. We heard elk in the middle of the night, coyotes all over the place. Um, we got a grouse, there was wild turkey, uh, I got two really good encounters with some wild horses just walking right by me, probably a dozen does each day, just, just an awesome time, so thank you Bob, I really appreciate it. And last but not least, I just want to say, uh, I wanted to dedicate this to my buddy Jeff and, and get a, get a buck. Um, wasn't successful in that, but I uh, guarantee that, that Jeff would have loved this weekend and it's a great way to honor him by getting out in the woods. And to the Reynolds family, I love you guys. Um, obviously, I wish Jeff was uh, hunting with me this year and came out and met Bob and, and stuff, but uh, love you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video.